water, the supporter of life and the habitat for many of Africa's animals. But possibly the most surprising thing about Africa is the incredible struggles these animals have to endure to reach water and stay alive. Dozens of different species embark on continuous, arduous journeys around the savanna, traveling from water source to water source simply to survive. Nowhere on the globe is such a massive journey embarked on by such a vast amount of animals. And nowhere on Earth is the migration more dangerous. With predators around every corner and danger even lurking in the one thing that keeps them alive, it is no wonder that so many animals perish along the way. To put this great migration into context, let's look at a typical migration pattern of the wildebeests over one year. Traveling great distances for months on end, these animals continually circle the Serengeti National Park, moving to and from each water source. They have to continually keep traveling. In a way, these animals act as nature's calendar, turning up at a different spot each month. So these wildebeests truly are nature's greatest travelers. But when these great travelers are joined by the zebras, they become one of the most impressive sights ever seen in nature. But along the way, the wildebeests pass different African animals like the hippos. Although they may look peaceful, hippos are one of Africa's most aggressive and unpredictable animals. The yawn they often display is actually a form of intimidation. Hippos like to group together in pods, which can contain up to 100 hippos. These pods are usually led by one dominant male. A fully grown adult can weigh up to three tons and can run up to 18 miles per hour. An adult hippopotamus can hold its breath for up to 20 minutes, swimming or walking along the riverbed in order to avoid danger. The name hippopotamus, or hippo for short, is derived from the ancient Greek for river horse. Hippos spend a lot of time in the water, but also can spend months on end out of the water in the bush. After passing most of their day in or around water, these hippos will move inland at night to graze on short grass. 